This is a case of chronic macular edema with focal tractional detachments. Vitrectomy with ILM peeling was done. This video describes the importance of identifying second membranes and also the technique to peel ILM in edematous retina without causing any foveal tractions. After core vitrectomy, membranes were segmented and removed. Nasal proliferations were removed by pulling a tangent to retina from disc using max grip. If you see, macula is free from any membranes. Now have a look on this OCT, there is present vitreocysis, in other words a second membrane, which if not removed, will lead to persistent traction over macula, thereby non-resolution of macular edema. Identification of second membrane is also important, as, it is the correct plane of dissection, which leads to an easy removal of membranes without any retinal injury. CT of macula shows acidic retina with large, subfavial cyst. The roof of the cyst is very thin, any sort of traction will cause its the roofing, leading to lamellar hole. So if we pull the ILM across the macula, it will cause traction and will lead to dragging. Instead we should peel ILM all around fovea first and then gently pull the ilm over fovea in the end. This technique is the safest way of peeling. Note in this video, only the gentle pull in the end cause the release of ilm flap. As described in animation, ILM flaps were raised from four sides and peeled till fovea, and just a gentle pull, is all that required to free the ILM flap, thereby causing negligible traction over fovea. Surgery was then concluded with fluid air exchange. Thank you for watching. Any comments and opinions are most welcomed.